Weekly grocery haul. I think this is the first part. I'll probably have to make a second order because they were out of a few things and I'm still getting my act together today. I'm so exhausted from a long week of work, but let me show you what I've got in this order. And this is the chicken breast that I like to get. I didn't pull out enough to cook for the next few days of work. I have some frozen from Butcher Box, but I didn't pull them out, so I just ordered some. I'll cook these up for the next few days of work. I've got some Gouda. I'm gonna try Gouda with my breakfast sandwiches. I'm really loving the provolone, but I thought I would try Gouda just to see. I, I do like Gouda, I know I like Gouda, so I'll see how I like it on my sandwiches and on my English muffins. I got blueberries, they finally had some, so. I got some blueberries. They didn't have the organic ones, but that's okay. I've got some olive oil spray. I just spray this in the pan. It helps everything cook without sticking when you don't want to use a lot of oil. I got some gala apples. As you notice, I'm getting more fruit. We're getting into a little warmer weather and I'm starting to crave the fruit. These smell so good. I actually got these at Whole Foods on my way to work the other day. I just pulled in to get something else and I picked them up. They smell so good. I'm gonna probably eat them today. <laughs> and I got the Thomas. The last time I had to get the Thomas regular, this time they had the 100 calorie one. So we'll see how they are. The regular ones were fine. I was able to fit them into my points, but we'll try these and see if they're just as good. Cucumber, I only ordered one. I normally order a few more, so I may have to order a few more on my second order at a different store because they were out of a few things here. Got some iced coffee. Got my coffee brewing for the morning. And I've got green beans. I thought I ordered more too of this and I'm seeing I only have three, but I think three will be fine because I only have two chicken breasts and I have one already cooked. So I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, feel, I feel confused and disorganized this morning. But this is what I've got. Excited for a week staying on track. And I'll take you along, show you what I make. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's well, see how I prepare all of this yummy food. All right, having a really late breakfast. Off to a late breakfast this morning, but that's okay. I've got my Thomas Original English Muffins with, I can't believe it's not butter, and Gouda. I'm using the Gouda this week. And I've got jam. I've got the Crofter's Harvest Berry, I think it's called. And Trader Joe's Pumpkin Butter. I'm trying to use up the pumpkin butter. I bought it in the fall. So I'm gonna try to work on using that up over the next several weeks so it doesn't go bad in my fridge. I've got two, I think they're nectarines. They were a little soft on the bottom part, but it's okay, they're still good. That's the thing, when you buy fresh fruit and you get it from like Whole Foods, you gotta eat it right away because it's already ready to go. So it's gonna be good. I ate it, a little bit of it while I was slicing it. So I actually went ahead and cut up both of the nectarines. So this will be kind of like breakfast and lunch together. And I'm gonna go ahead and have this. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and make a big breakfast. Not too big, it's really just one sandwich with some fruit. But I'm trying a different type of Thomas English muffin. This is the 100 calorie light multigrain, I think. And it's only two points per each one and it's eight grams of fiber. So that's really good and only 100 calories. So I'm gonna try that. They didn't have it the last time. Oh, hello, gotta be nosy. They didn't have it the last time I made an order, so they subbed the original, which was great, and it worked. It still worked in my points, but I'm gonna give these a try, and I'm gonna make it with eggs, these little Johnsonville turkey breakfast sausages, some of my provolone, I'm almost done. People were asking how I got my eggs to be so round. This is the little pan that I use. It's by the brand Good Cook. I got it at Safeway, just kind of hanging on one of those aisle things that they have in the middle of the aisle and it's perfect it's perfect for these little eggs and they they fit perfectly on an english muffin they'd also fit on bagels biscuits whatever your morning bread of choice is so it's this is how i do it and i love this little pan i'm thinking about getting a little second one i think they were like 10 bucks just to have i can have two going at the same time because it just cooks them perfectly 
So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this breakfast. And then I'll show you what I eat the rest of the day. Today is kind of a splurge day for me. I'm going with a friend out to a farm. We're gonna see some little kittens. I'm so excited. And I'll be like a little five-year-old with the kittens. <laughs> but I'll show you what we eat there. And if we pick up anything on the way back, I think she's jealous. You heard me say kitten. <laughs> But I'll show you if we pick anything up on the way back as a treat. Last time we stopped for ice cream. So we'll see. It'll be my splurge day. Normally Wednesdays are my splurge day anyway. So I'm going to get these eggs started and show you what else I eat. So I've sliced up the two little sausage links and I'm going to go ahead and saute them. Oh, I've sprayed this little pan just with this extra virgin olive oil cooking spray just to keep anything from sticking. Adding a little Tony's, just flipped it. So I'm gonna let it finish cooking on the other side. First one down. I usually make two, it makes a much more filling sandwich. Second set of sausage. And here it is, filling breakfast. I've got it with some sliced up apricot. You can see it's still hot. The slice of cheese is on the bottom, so you can't really see it. But, it, oh, there it is. So, everything's nice and melty. So I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this big breakfast. I'll have something light before we head out because I don't know if I'll make it all the way <laughs> to the farm, but this will be delightful. So this is my lunch. I'm gonna have the last of the tuna salad on this wrap with the greens. <laughs> that was a kitty, <laughs> it's okay. I'm gonna have that along with the sugar snap peas and cucumbers. So something for a little crunch. I don't have any chips, but I'll go ahead and do this. Should be a pretty filling lunch. It should keep me until we get to the farm and then we'll have something for dinner. On the way to the farm, we stopped and got some bubble tea. This is the creme brulee flavor at this particular shop. So good. You have a baby.
And here is the iced coffee. I'm making it with the root beer float flavor today. I prefer the chocolate peanut butter, but this is good and I want to finish the box. I don't know if I'll buy it again. For breakfast, I had this peanut butter and jelly kind of tortilla wrap. Not really a wrap, more of a taco, but it was just right for breakfast that morning. Easy, simple, right before work. I had to work that day. So sometimes something easy with what you have on hand is just a good option. Once I got to work, I had the beef tips with brown rice and veggies for lunch. It was very manageable as far as Weight Watchers points are concerned and easy lunch, cheap, efficient because it's in the cafeteria. For dinner, I met a friend at an Indian restaurant nearby. This is one of our favorite spots. We got vegetable samosas along with these nice sauces that go along with it. One of them is kind of a mint flavor and the other one is a tamarind. And we always get these two and it goes so well with the vegetable samosas. This is my friend's meal. She got a curry with goat. I got the alu mater, which is a kind of potatoes and peas in a spicy sauce with the basmati rice on the side. So delicious. And of course we got naan. We never pass on the naan. It was totally worth it. No regrets. Once home, we made some brownies to have during our movie because we always have a, something to snack on during our movie nights. And we just made these Ghirardelli brownies. They were so good. Let me tell you, I hadn't had brownies in a while and it was worth it. Ten out of ten, highly recommend.